this is Pam. Oh, hi, Don. Um, sure. Okay. Oh, 7.30. Yep. Okay, great. I'll see you there. Bye. So I had a plan when I set out to find my search and rescue partner. I sat on the floor with all these roly-poly baby beagles ready to make my choice. So one of the cute little puppies comes up and he starts playing with my shoelaces. It was a boy, so I put him aside, but he kept coming back. So since that first day when Snickers curled up in my lap, we've now added Danny, Charlie, Wishbone, and Huckleberry to our family. Danny, Charlie, let's go possibility of two two weapons still outstanding in his collection is four, now, yeah. four, four weapons outstanding yeah if you come across him uh, do not touch anything all right if he's laying there and he's done a self-inflicted gunshot wound do not touch anything you know most of you know that already don't get all excited and try to move the move the weapon because sometimes if it's a repeater it's something something else will go off all right uh, and again Always keep in mind a possible crime scene. The Sheriff's Department is responsible for searches in all the counties. The call that we received was for a person that was last seen several weeks ago. Potential suicide. Last year alone, in San Diego County, Search and Rescue participated in over 60 Search and Rescue missions. And of those 60 missions, practically every single one of them involved some type of a canine assist, some type of a search and rescue canine assist. The best types of dogs are usually the types of dogs that are the toughest to live with at home because they're always busy, they always have to be into stuff, always have to be doing something. So working with them in search and rescue gives them a job and they love it. What a search and rescue canine will bring to the table on a search is a much much finer sense of smell than a human being. Uh, generally, a canine will actually give us a pretty decent sense of direction. Mm. Well, this is, what I'm, this is what we're gonna do. I smell something over there. Okay. The SAR team and the dogs work out from the area where the person was last seen or where we found any personal items. And I'm going to put him on his harness just because it's safer than his flat collar. Yeah. Okay, Danny, ready? Every search has potential risk for the dogs. Heat, uh, rough terrain, bees, foxtail up the nose, contaminated dust, just to name a few. He's got odor right in here. That's actually one of his indications. Well, I smell something up there. Yeah, I can, I get, I'm getting whiffs of it now too. That oh. a boy, good job. Take it easy on me. <laughs> he can do it easier than I can. Yeah. That's a good boy. On a search, every square inch of ground has to be covered. It takes special training to do that properly. So we're doing a little training with Snickers today. This is called a motivational trail. It's a lot of fun, ramps them up, makes them really enjoy the whole game. There you go, good boy. So he's got his tracking harness on now. He knows he's going to do something fun. All right. Just going to get one thing. Stay there. Okay, smell. Smell. Go get it. Oh, good boy. Good. <laughs> good boy, Snickers. Good boy, good job, good boy. Yeah, get that. Is that her? Snickers, is that her?
So it's hard to say no to the other dogs, but it's all about finding the person and using the dog for the job. Good boy, Snickers, come on. Good boy. Oh, got a whiff of it again. I know, it seems like it's coming up. Cadaver dog can go from straight through inaccessible brush to find someone who has been uh, who's been deceased and has wandered off into the brush, and it would be very very difficult for a human being to find. Whereas a cadaver dog can find them relatively easy. Oh yeah, yeah, he's not looking for your scent. Danny? 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 Sometimes we can search all day and come up with nothing. Sometimes we're lucky. Oh, I'm so proud of you. What a good boy. Good job. Good job. Lenore, Danny made the sign. <laughs> That's cool. I, and I took him offline too. I just let him work offline. So careful. We can do a sweep without the dog, which is fine. So I would just like to get him up. He wants to go that way. <laughs> you want to go that way, Danny? That's easy for you. Okay. Good boy. Yes. Cell phone. Okay. Dogs never stop when they're working a trail. That's why it's really up to me to make sure that they get cooled off and lots of rest. He can get heat stroke a lot faster than I can. Danny's favorite reward? A treat. Good boy. Charlie. You're awesome for being a standby beagle. Charlie likes to go to the library and read with the kids. He's also a therapy dog. Come here, buddy. There you go. There you go. I love all my dogs. They do anything I ask. They're my heroes.
Danny helped bring closure to a distraught family that day. Since that first puppy won my heart, I've been living my dream. Every life is important. Thank you.